Assalamu alaikum and hi. So in this video, we are going to look at the least square method and basic combination of uncertainty. It will be used to determine the uncertainty of the gradient and also the uncertainty of the y-intercept. For an example, if we sketch a graph of y versus x, we can get the gradient from the graph such as m is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, once we have got the value of m based on the graph, we need to find the uncertainty of the gradient that we have obtained, which is delta m. So, to find this delta m, we are going to implement the LSM method. And at the same time, if our graph were to have y-intercept, According to the equation y is equals to mx plus c, our delta c will be also implemented using the least square method. So, first we are going to look at the equation associated for the uncertainty of gradient and y-intercept according to the LSM method. So, the uncertainty of gradient is written as delta m and uncertainty of y-intercept is written as delta c. This comes from the equation of y is equals to mx plus c, our straight line, equa um, straight line equation. So, delta m is given such as square root is the summation of the values of y minus the value of y hat being squared divided by n minus 2 multiply with the summation of x values of x minus with x bar being squared where delta m is the uncertainty of the gradient and here represent the number of readings how many readings did we have collected from the um, from our experiment and x bar here is the average value of the x given such as x bar is equal to 1 over n the number of reading we have multiply with the summation of the values of x so we are going to sum all the values of x that we and have then we are going to divide with the number of reading we got in order to find the average value of x whereas y hat is the estimated value of y which can be obtained from the equation of y hat is equals to m hat x plus c hat and the uncertainty of y intercept delta c is equals to square root 1 divided by the number of reading minus 2 multiply with the summation of the value of y minus the expected value of y being squared multiply with 1 over number of reading plus the average value of x being squared divided by the summation of the value of x minus the average value squared so these are the equation of delta m and delta c according to the lsm method next we'll be looking at example on how to apply this equation in our experiment first we are going to look at situation one here when the best fit line passes through origin which means when we sketch our graph we are going to have a graph that passes through or start from the origin which does not have the y-intercept which means our c here is equals to zero so every experiment that will be carrying out will have an equation of the experiment let's say for this um, example that we're going to look at we have an equation of the experiment such as t square is equals to 4 pi square over g multiply with the l so this is the equation of our experiment where we com compared it with the straight line equation y is equals to mx plus c we'll have information such that our y axis is our t square and our x axis is our l and based on this we can deduce that our graph does not have any y intercept and also our gradient of the graph is equals to 4 pi square divided by g and our objective here is to find the value of g and not only G, G and also its uncertainty. This is what we are going to find. So for that, we need to have set of data for our Y axis and X axis, which is L and T squared. So let's say we have already collected the 
data for our L and respective T. And then we have plotted the graph of T square against L. So from here, we can state that this is our Y axis and this is our X axis. And we plot all the points and then we find the gradient. So the calculation for gradient would be M is equals to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So from the information that we have from our graph here, our value here would be this is our Y, this is our X. 2.10 minus 0 0.00 divided by 50, 53.0 minus 0, 0.0. So we'll get an answer of 0 0.04 S square per centimeter. So this is what we get for our gradient here. As we have already obtained our gradient, next thing here is we have to find the uncertainty of our gradient using the LSM method such as delta M is equals to square root summation and I equals to 1 value of Y minus the expected value of Y squared divided by N minus 2 multiply with the summation value of x minus the average value of x squared. Okay, according to our graph here, our y axis is our t square. So this represent our y and l represent our x here. So I'm going to rewrite this equation by inserting the term from our experiment. So our delta m mission and here is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 set of reading. So n is equals to 6 i is equals to 1 and our y i would be t square i minus the expected value of the t square square and then divide by 4 6 minus 2 multiply with the summation of the value of x which is l minus average value of l squared square root the whole Thing here okay as you as you can see we do not have the value of t square minus expected t square in order for us to sum them as same goes to we do not have the value of l minus l average in order to sum them so for that what are we going to do is we're going to expand our table so we're going to rewrite the table here and then insert all the values we need. We need this information and this information in our equation delta M. Next, we have to identify our independent and dependent variable. Independent and dependent variable is basically our manipulated and responding variable. Our L here is our independent variable, which is basically our X axis. And T square here is our dependent variable, which is our y exists and as you can see in order to find the value of l minus l bar squared we need to first know what is the value of l minus l bar therefore we will have addition of few columns here in order to deduce the term being asked in our equation let us start calculating delta M using LSM here by only looking at the independent variable first since we have a six column in our table. So, given to us in the table is the value of L. We have all the value of L. So, the first thing we are going to do here is to find the summation of our value of L. So, summation L here is basically adding all the values of our L which gives us 210 centimeter. Next, we are going to calculate the average of our X, which is basically the average of our L here, which is summation L divided by the number of reading we have. The summation here was 210. So we have six number of readings. So we are going to divide by six. We'll get the average of our L such as 35 centimeters. This is basically our L bar. So now, we can find 
the information to be fitted in the column L minus L bar, which is the value of L minus the average value of L. So this is the value of L for the first reading and our average value of L is 35. So what are we going to do is we are going to calculate L minus L bar for each L here and insert them into the column here. So we'll have L minus L bar such as for an example, our first reading here is 10 centimeter. 10 minus 35 will get negative 25 centimeter. This is our reading for the first column. Then we're going to repeat the same thing for our next reading here, which is 20 minus 35 will get negative 15. 30 minus 35 will get negative 5 and so on until we get the reading for the, until we get the value for our sixth reading. And then now we can actually find the value of L minus average value of L being squared where we are going to square the value from this column, which is L minus L bar square, negative 25 squared. So we will have 625 centimeter square. We're going to do the same thing for every reading here. Negative 15 square, negative 5 square, 5 square, 15 square, and 25 square. After we have obtained that, now we are going to find the summation as according to the equation of delta m, what we need was summation of the value of y minus the expected value of y being squared divided by the number of reading which is 4, uh, sorry, the number of reading minus 2 which is 4 multiplied by the summation of x minus x bar squared. So our x minus x bar squared is basically L minus L bar squared. And we need to find the summation of all those values. These are our L minus L bar that has been squared. But what we need is basically the summation. Therefore, we are going to add all this value in order for us to get the summation. So we'll have L so we'll have summation of L minus L bar that has been squared such as 1750 centimeter squared. Centimeter squared. So next we're going to complete the dependent variable part from the table so, so from the graph we have obtained our gradient such as 0 0.04 second square per centimeter so now for us to solve the dependent variable table we will have to find the expected value squared so the expected value is basically the value that we expect based on the calculation or the equation but not from the experiment being conducted so for that we're going to use the linear equation graph our t here our y here is basically our t square so the expected value here would be the gradient multiply with our x axis here is our l plus with our c expected where c expected here is zero as we do not have any y intercept in our graph earlier we sketched a zero zero graph so therefore our t square expected is basically 0 0.04 multiplied with the value of l and we have six different value of l so we can substitute the those values of l let's say our l is 10 centimeter our t square expected would be 0 0.04 multiplied with 10 centimeter we'll get 0 0.4 here so this is the expected value for our t square. However, based on the experiment, we have obtained 0 0.33. Close enough. So we are going to do the same thing for every L. Next, we're going to substitute L is equals to 20 to get the expected value of t square. And then L is equals to 30 to get the expected value of t square. And so on until the sixth reading. 
So once we have got the expected value, now we can take the value from the experiment minus the expected value to fill up the next column here. We'll have t square minus t square expected, which is basically I'm going to take the first value here, 0 0.33 minus 0 0.4 will get negative 0 0.070. This is the value obtained. So now wear them in order to find the value of t square minus t square expected. Square the subtraction here. So we're going to take the first reading here 0 0.07. We're going to square it in order to get it such as 0 0.004. I'm going to do for every reading here. And as emphasized earlier, basically, we are looking for this information, which is the summation of t square minus t expected squared being squared. So, we're going to sum all the values of this part, which is this in our column. So, we're going to sum them all. And we'll get t minus 0.04. Summation. Add all together, we'll get 0.04. So basically, the summation y minus y expected square is what we have obtained from the last column of the table and the summation of y minus y bar squared is this part of the column so we're going to substitute all the value we have obtained based on the table here into the equation the summation here is 0 0.0368 divided by number of reading minus 2 multiply with the summation of x minus x average squared so we'll get our gradient such as we'll get our uncertainty of gradient such as 0 0.002 second square per centimeter. So this is our delta M uncertainty of gradient based on LSM method. Okay, and then next to find the uncertainty of y intercept, since our graph does not have any y intercept, for our delta C which is the uncertainty of the intercept is also equals to zero. So as a conclusion here, we have to find delta M using the expanded table. We have to expand our table, find all the information in order to substitute the value asked in the equation. This is the example of a complete table. You only have to have one table. Just extend the required column to add the information needed. So next, we are going to find the experimental value. Experimental value in this uh, experiment was initially we said that it was to find the, it was to find the gravitational acceleration and also its uncertainty. That was our objective. The equation of our experiment was t squared is equals to 4 pi squared divided by g multiplied with l. Comparing it with our straight graph, straight line equation, y is equals to mx plus c, which I have already done earlier, where we can conclude that our gradient here is equals to 4 pi squared over g. Since we want to find g, we rearrange the equation. We'll get 4 pi squared divided by the gradient. And the value of gradient was 0 0.04. So with that, our acceleration due to gravity is 986.96 centimeter per second. Or to convert it to meter per second, it would be 9.87 ms negative 2. So we have find our G. Next, we are going to find our delta G. In order to find our delta G, we are going to use the basic combination of uncertainty. There are four methods for basic combination of uncertainty. The first one is addition or subtraction. 
multiplication with constant k, multiplication or division and also power. So in our case, our equation of our subject which was g was given as 4 pi square divided by m. Okay, so this value of g was obtained from the equation which involved multiplication and division. Therefore, we are going to use the third method here to find our uncertainty of g. The uncertainty of g would be divided by the value of g is equals to delta k divided by k plus with delta m divided by m where our k here is our 4 pi square which is a constant since it is a natural number delta k would be 0 so delta g i'm rearranging this equation would be delta k over k plus delta m over m multiply with g so substitute all the value we have delta k over k would be 0 because delta k is equals to 0 0 divided 4 pi square we we'll get 0 plus with delta m was 0 0.002 divided by m was 0 0.4 and then our g here was based on the calculation above 986.96 so we'll get our delta g such as plus minus 49.35 centimeter per second square or plus minus 0 0.49 ms negative 2. So, to write our experimental value and its uncertainty in the form of A plus minus delta A with the units, our G, which was the objective of the experiment, is equal to 986.96 plus minus 49.35, the uncertainty centimeter square. Or in the SI unit, it would be 9.87 plus minus 0 0.49 meter per second square. Okay, next we are going to look at the situation 2. Where, when best fit line cuts Y exists, which means in our graph here, we does not have our best fit line passes through the origin, whereas the best fit line is going to have an intercept here. Okay, let's say we use the same set of data as situation 1. We're going to have values for L and also T square given here. So we have been asked to sketch graph of T square against L and our T square is our y axis and l is our x axis here similar to the situation one it's just that when we choose our best fit line we have a best fit line that is going to pass us through the y axis this indicate that we are going to have y in the set so now the first thing we are going to do here is to calculate the gradient as we know the gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 this is our y's and this is our x so we're going to take 2.1 minus 0 0.1 divided with 53.0 minus 0 0.0 this time we'll get our gradient as 0 0.038 second square per centimeter similar to the situation one we'll have to find delta m so our delta m has an equation of square root summation of the t square minus expected value of the t square being squared divided by number of reading minus 2 multiply with the summation of the values of l minus l average being squared here for that we have to extend our table in order for us to have the information required in this equation so that we can simply substitute the value so we are going to expand the table very similar to the situation one so this is how our table is going to look like d 
these are the information that we need to insert in the equation of delta m. Therefore, we need to find the values required and being filled in the table. However, the value that we are going to get for independent variable is the same as what we have calculated for the situation 1. The dependent variable is going to have a different values being filled in the table. So as we can see, we have a different gradient here. The gradient we have, the gradient we have obtained for this graph is 0 0.03. 38 seconds square per centimeter and also we have the presence of y intercepts such as 0 0.1 centimeter so to calculate the expected value of our dependent variable which is t square hat we are going to use the equation such as t square hat is equals to m hat multiply with the length plus with the y-intercept. Since the gradient is different and there is presence of y-intercept compared to the situation 1. Okay, so as we substitute the different value of L here, we're going to get the different value of our t square expected, which is going to lead to the different in the value of t square minus t square hat, also going to lead to the different in the value of t square minus t square hat being squared. Next, by following the step 3, 4 and 5 to complete the table, similar to what we have done for situation 1, put in the value of 4L to get the value of T square expected and the remaining of the column here. Now, we are going to find the delta M using LSM here. So our equation is still the same. So now we are going to substitute the value. The value that we have obtained here for the first part, which is the summation of y minus y expected being squared, which is our t square minus t square be, t square expected being squared, such as 0 0.0456. And then we are going to divide with our number of reading here is 6 minus 2, 4, multiply with the summation of the value of x minus x bar being squared, which is our L minus L bar being squared here. The value here is still the same as in situation 1. And then you press your calculator, you'll get an answer such as plus minus 0 0.003 S square per centimeter. Now, we are going to look at how to calculate the uncertainty of the y-intercept as this graph in situation 2 has a y-intercept of 0 0.1 cm. Our delta C is given such as square root of summation y minus y hat being squared divided by number of reading minus 2 multiply with 1 over number of reading plus the x bar squared divided by the summation of x minus x bar being squared. So, the summation of y minus y hat being squared is basically the value of the sum of t square minus t square hat being squared, such as 0 0.0456 divided by n minus 2 number of readings 6 minus 2, 4. Multiply with 1 over 6 plus with our x bar being squared here is basically the value of average of L which is 35 centimeter being squared. Therefore, the value here is 35 square divided by summation of the L summation of the L minus L bar being squared which is 1750. When we press our calculator, we'll get our answer such as plus minus 0 0.099 centimeter. Okay, so this is the completed table for the T square versus L graph. Where the extra column being added in order for us to find the re required value to calculate the delta M and also delta C. So by the end of the experiment, we must only have one table. 
you are just going to add in the column required. Extend the table. Next, we are going to find our objective of the experiment. Objective here is the same as situation 1, which is to find the acceleration due to gravity, G. The equation of the experiment is T square equals to 4 pi square over G multiplied with the length L. Y exists is our T square and X exists is our L here. Therefore, the gradient of the graph is 4 pi square over G. In order to find G, we are going to rearrange our equation such that G is equal to 4 pi square divided by the gradient and our gradient for this experiment is 0 0.038 so our acceleration due to gravity is 1038.91 cm per second square or 10.39 m per second square next we are going to find the delta g which is the uncertainty of our gravity to calculate the uncertainty of the gravity we are going to use basic combination of uncertainty as we have used equation to find our acceleration due to gravity we have four method addition or subtraction multiplication with constant k multiplication or division or power for the basic combination of uncertainty since our equation only involve multiplication or division we are going to use the equation for multiplication and division here so this is similar to the situation one we will have delta g divided by g is equals to delta k divided by k plus delta m divided by m where our k here is actually 4 pi square since k is a natural number which has no uncertainty, that gives us delta k is actually 0. Delta k over k will give us a total of 0 here. Our delta g would be delta m divided by m multiplied with the acceleration due to gravity obtained. Therefore, my delta m is 0 0.003. M was 0 0.038 multiply with 1038.91. So we'll end up with the delta G such as plus minus 82.02 centimeter per second square. Or delta G is also equals to plus minus 0 0.82 meter per second square if to change into meter per second square. So, to write the experimental value and its uncertainty, we'll have G is equals to 1038.91 plus minus 82.02, which is the value of G plus minus the value of the uncertainty of the G with the unit centimeter per second square. Or have our G as 10.39 plus minus delta G as 0 0.82. M as negative 2. That's it for our least square me method and also basic combination of uncertainty.